Now that you've logged on to Canvas, the home screen for 182 should pop up looking like this for the syllabus. Um, if you aren't familiar at all with Canvas, if you look here on the right, you click on Courses, and the course MAT 182-15691 should be there published, and you click on that course, and you end up at this page here. Now make sure that you click on every single one of these links, read the syllabus carefully, click on first steps module and read through this module. So when you read through this module, you will click on the link, oh come on, click on the link. Here's a introduction to the course, what I look like if it matters to you. And down here at the right is the next button to take you to the next part of the module. The instructor information, there's my email address, my office hours, etc. Please make sure you understand all of this information and at least know where to access it if you have questions. Click on the next button. More course policies, school policies, again familiarize with yourself with these things and you keep going through the entire module until you're done. So here's a place that you can find help with Canvas, what happens if your computer breaks. Again, one of the most important things when you're taking an online class is to always notify the instructor if something's not working right for you or if you're falling behind or if you have a question. And again, the, the key to getting along with anything is to communicate. So don't be afraid to communicate and let me know what's happening so that you can keep up. When we go back to the syllabus page, or actually you can even go to the home page, and that's where this is all linked up as well. My links just don't seem to be working really well. So again, read through the syllabus, read through first steps. The calendar and the course pacing, you can open it up down in, the, in here, and you can see that this tells you what you should be keeping accomplished each week at the minimum. You always can work ahead. There's no problem with that. But this week, I'm opening up the class on Wednesday today, and you should be able to learn to sign on to Math AS to read the syllabus and first steps and take the syllabus and first steps quiz. And again, I'll show you a little bit about that when we get to it. So if I minimize the file preview, this link is the Math AS link where all your coursework and videos and homework assignments are going to be. And then this link here is if you never signed on to Math AS, or if you have signed on to Math AS and want to know the key and the um, other code that goes with it, I don't even remember what they're called, they have the course ID and your enrollment key. So you're going to need these two numbers, so keep this handy, print it out when you go to Math AS. The first half of it is if you've never signed on, and the second half down here is if you've already signed on once before and had a class that used Math AS. So minimize the file preview. If you take a look, I mean, it's just always nice to take a look at all these live links. Announcements is where I'll talk about different things that are coming up in the course. I'll have announcements both on this page and Math AS so that you don't miss anything. <laughs> Test exams, the things that are due that week, um, questions that people may have, things like that. Down here at the bottom of the modules, I'll probably move this up to the top eventually. This quick information is the page of where I'm, my schedule, what my email address is, um, and other types of scholarships and opportunities that I see that students might be interested in. The bulletin's kind of a fun page. This is kind of like Facebook for, for uh, Canvas, and I know maybe a lot of you don't use Facebook, but it is a Facebook type format. So here you can see you have an extra credit assignment. I won't make you ever do posts and discussions, but every once in a while I might encourage you to do it by having some extra credit things hanging out here. So take a look at that. You can post your own uh, questions here about course, uh, problems that you have. You can post videos if you have solutions, things like that. Stick with Math 182 information though. Don't post pictures of funny things or pets. Just stick with Math 182 please. Now when I mentioned that you had to take a syllabus quiz, that's going to be under quizzes. Here's the syllabus quiz. And then when you're done with the syllabus quiz, make sure you do the syllabus acknowledgement. That basically means that you've read it and you understand the syllabus. And grades and SEC library that will all come together. So this is really important information that you need to read and understand 
before you move on with the course. Make sure that you know what's going to happen so that you know the dates and times and whether or not you can actually have the time to do this. So the next video will actually take us over to MathAS so we can look at that setup there.